This is part two of a two-part series on making a letter holder. There's a link in the description below for part one if you missed it. And we'll get on and finish this box up and see what it looks like. All right, it's the next morning. Got these glued up. Let's see how they came out. Just, uh, I got rabbit joints on the side across the bottom and then I just have it across the bottom on the sides and what I'm going to do and it'll just go together like that and you've got the side there and you kind of see where we're going what I've got here is I'll just put a piece of wood here and I'm going to put a couple designs right in here on each of them. Cut that out and we'll see how that comes out. I got a little bit off there. Right. Let's find the center, and that measures ten and a quarter. So that would be five and one eighth would be center. Mark that five and one eighth. I want to make a circle, a circle, 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 somewhere here. make a circle. Well, let's see here. Let's do it off of this. No, I gotta do it off the top. Let's see what that looks like there. That kind of gives you an idea. That'll give me the anchor. Well, I'm going to do the heart different, I guess. We'll put the heart in there like this. We'll trace it out. Yeah. We're going to cut them out. Alright, there's one for the anchor. And one for the heart.
made up this little board for glue ups and all it is is a piece of plywood with some pieces of wood on it but it's a good 90 degree angle and I use that to do the glue ups on any small boxes and things like that putting, putting my glue on and I don't put too much glue on I try to not have it squishing all over the place and that little board with the corner on it comes in real handy for doing the glue ups I just put it together and push it into that corner then when I clamp it I clamp it to the board so it stays nice and square and I put a lot of clamps on it I use these tension clamps a lot of times and I find the Irwin's are the best and I just uh, glue that up right in place it'll stay nice and square and uh, I'll leave it dry overnight. I like to leave these pieces when I do this dry overnight. It takes a little time, but uh, sometimes I'll mess with them in a couple hours, but uh, I find it's best to leave it dry overnight and really get hard. I might put the bottom in while it's still loose after a couple hours, but I try not to mess with it too much. But if you put the bottom in when it's in a couple hours, it gives you a little play to, if it does move on you, to... Uh, keep it straight I make sure everything's tight to the corners and another thing I make sure it's down I've had a couple glue ups where one of the corners was sticking up and it comes out cattywampus so you got to make sure it's nice and square and pushing down to that piece of plywood get all your clamps in and let it set overnight and uh, it comes out pretty good Taking it off here and uh, everything looks good. There's what I got. There's the first one. And then here's the second one coming off. And there it is ready to have the bottom put in. piece of plywood there. Let's see what it's going to look like. That looks pretty good. All right, got that one cut. Let's see how she fits. Not bad. Let's see if it fits better the other way. I think it's better the other way. So we'll put it back this way. Put a little mark there so I don't lose my place. This is the other. Well, we got them bottoms both in. Not bad fit. A little bit of space there, but it's going to cover with felt, so we'll be all right. I'll glue them bottoms in. Let it dry overnight. ready to check it in the morning. I better mark this one. I'll get them all mixed up, believe me. I'll just mark that with one. And tomorrow we'll sand them up, finish sand them, put a finish on them, and we'll be done. And we'll see which one the wife likes. I'm going to see which one she'll pick. All right, they look like they're dry. See what they look like. There's one. And 
there's the other one. That quick sand on the sander, whenever you're doing something like this, make sure you got it square and just hit it light. It's amazing. If you go off even a little bit, it really chews it up. So I, I got a worn 120 belt there, and I'll just give each side a touch, and then I'll hand sand it. I'm going to hit it with a hundred grit. Clean it up, then maybe hit it with a 220, and we'll give it a finish. Not bad for scrap wood. We got the stain done. Varnish. And uh, one coat. I'm going to put two coats on, but I'm not going to video the second coat. I'll hit it with a piece of 400 or something like that and put another coat of varnish on it. But for right now, I want to put the felt onto the bottom and finish these up and talk a little bit about them as I do that. So right now let's uh, measure it up and I'll cut the felt and we'll glue the felt on. I get my felt at Walmart, 23 cents a sheet, so whenever I go, I just buy a bunch of it. Kind of keep a little bit in stock, and I just put it on with uh, contact cement, Wellwood contact cement. And I just want to kind of talk about this project here. I don't know if it's something you'd want to make, but uh, a couple things about it doesn't cost much to make. I made it out of scrap wood. It doesn't take much wood and it's very simple. I know I ran long on the video only because I'm just learning how to do the videos but the only thing it takes is the dado joints and I used my scroll saw but you can actually do it with a coping saw. just as well, a handsaw, and uh, 
you can make any design you want. I've got a couple other ideas for designs and I just made two of them. But the real thing about this is because it was easy to make, I could have made ten of these in the same amount of time I made these two. If I had the wood, you just keep running out the pieces, you get your setup done. And I, this took three days just because of the wood drying, I don't, and, and also the video making, but I don't think it took it four hours maybe. And I could have made ten of them in that amount of time. Because you get your thing set up and you start cutting, and you can really go uh, pretty fast. Just the, the sitting while the glue dries overnight. I don't like to mess with it too much until the glue sets up. Now I can trim that. One thing about felt, it'll stretch and shrink. You can push it in and push it out and it'll dry. So I'll trim that up when I'm done. And uh, that's going to finish it. But I just wanted to share something about this. The only thing I had was the dado joints here and to hold the bottom in and then the cut with the coping saw with the scroll saw and you can do that by hand with a coping saw so really a table saw would do it and just a couple ideas you could make a picture frame here and put a picture in it that's a, one another idea or also I was thinking of making one and getting some brass gears out of a clock and kind of making it uh, industrial looking that's kind of hot right now I think that would have looked neat with a couple gears up here and maybe a couple brass pieces. If you have any other ideas on what would make a good design, put that down in the comments below. And uh, maybe I'll make some more. Maybe I'll make ten the next time. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you like the mailbox. And I guess now it's time to take these up and see which one... My wife wants to buy, take. Hey, Han, come in here for a minute. What do you want, Da? I made something for you. What is it? Oh, those. Them letter holders you've been asking me to make. Oh, those are very pretty. Which one do you want? Of course, this one. That's very pretty. Thank you. That's